everyone. I am so excited to present to you my senior exhibit of Cats Plus Home. For me, I've been creating art of the subject matter of cats for probably the last three years, ever since I've been in advanced painting classes. So I think it was for three years. And when I first started out with painting cats, I didn't really know why I was doing it. And it was more about that cat being quirky and cute and independent and wasn't really well developed. But as time went on, I began to understand exactly what cat meant to me. Within the last year with the pandemic, that really started to shift my focus to this idea of cats and home. Before the pandemic, I didn't really seem to understand why the cat. And then once the pandemic came, I there was this mental connection that clicked. And I think I've been using cats this whole time to kind of symbolize home and love and family and all of that. It's crazy that I didn't pick up on it, but I think subconsciously that's kind of why I was drawn to doing it and why I felt so passionate about it. But it makes sense because I have grown up with cats my whole life, so there's always been a cat in my house. So when the pandemic happened, my artworks began to shift to become more personal and to include backgrounds of my home spaces and to include people, family members, and to include just personal symbolic details that were not in my pieces before. Some of the details include just messy settings and like messy rooms, messy beds, messy um, kitchens, or really tidy kitchens, or just different, there's even different elements like shoes that I incorporate and litter boxes and just different things that I incorporate to kind of symbolize different things. I use these details to symbolize my family members because my family members don't really like their picture getting taken. So I had to come up with different ways of depicting them without actually drawing them. And that's where including the details and the space and the tidiness or organizedness came to play. And with the process of coming up with these images, I used simple cell phone photography. I was constantly on standby trying to find my cat doing something silly or something he shouldn't be or waiting for the perfect light to hit. So with simple cell phone photography, I was able to capture those moments quickly and easily while also being able to get multiple compositions at a time. As you probably know, cats do not hold still and also natural light doesn't stop. So by using the cell phone photography, I was able to get multiple perspectives along with keeping things relatively the same throughout all the variations of perspectives. And therefore I could go through and single out which image I thought would be the most successful as a piece. And with the use of mediums, I didn't really know how they were going to turn out within the space altogether. I've been working on painting and watercolor and pen and ink, all of those elements, probably since I was around 12. So for a long time, and I'm very comfortable with those mediums. But within this last year, last summer, I began to dive in into digital works and I kind of did it just as a way to challenge myself. I enjoyed other people's digital work, so I began to just try to follow in their footsteps and see what I could do and see how my artwork would shift because I was very much a painter, so I didn't really know how I was going to shift digitally. Throughout the summer, I began to love it, so I incorporated it within the next semesters and within my classes. And... I didn't really know how I would like the mediums together, as I stated before, because watercolor and pen is really organic and really free flowing. And it's just a different type of technique compared to digital, where it's very flat and it's very structured and color blocking. And they seem to be polar opposites. You would think that that would be kind of weird in a room together. But for me, it, I think it actually worked out really well because the watercolors kind of this, convey this sense of emotion and this sense of abstraction relating to the emotion, the feeling, where the digital images kind of give a more structured and realistic depiction of a space. And I think the way how you get a sense of the actual architectural of the home along with the emotional sense of the cat you can start to piece together kind of what my home 
is and what it feels like and what it looks like. And I think those two methods really went well together. As for the display of all my images, I decided to use magnets and I also decided to write my own text, which it sounds kind of crazy, but all of my pieces are very deep and also very realistic and authentic. And within my household, we're not very formal people. So it felt kind of weird for me to sit there and frame everything and mat everything and type everything when at home we write a lot of notes. Like we, our grocery list are handwritten and any note taking is handwritten. We don't type and print anything. So it seemed kind of, it seemed unauthentic to print and present my works very formally. And for me, the magnets kind of symbolize this idea of sticking artwork onto a refrigerator with a magnet which is a little different within the space. I feel like it's a little bit formal compared to that with the use of uniform magnets and small magnets and not like, like crazy welcome to Texas magnets, you know what I mean? So it's formal-er than that, but not too formal to where it feels unauthentic. And I use my um, ha own handwriting for the artist statement along with the text underneath all the images just to keep it uniform. I thought about typing text for the underneath, like the titles of the images. But once I did the artist statement, it seemed like that might not go together really well and that wouldn't be very uniform with each other. So I went and just did all my handwriting for the text. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you.